Hello everyone, myself Dr. Sanjay Khatri, your pediatric educator on Unacademy platform. Yes, I am pediatric cardiologist and having 19 year experience for teaching for PG aspirants. So today, eponyms, eponyms of aortic regurgitation. In previous eponyms class, I have covered the murmurs with the name, Astinfrand murmur, Carrico murmur, Gibson murmur, so murmur with the name. The scientists who invented the murmur. So those are very important. Today's I am coming with eponyms in aortic regurgitation. In aortic regurgitations, there are a lot of signs. Some of you know Hill signs, De Musset sign, Corrigan signs. But we supposed to cover those signs in detail. How they are coming, what ex exactly those are. So today's eponyms for aortic regurgitation sign. So what is aortic regurgitation? Now see, see the normal, this is the normal picture. Now see, once LV contract, LV contract, the blood goes to iota. When LV begin to dilate, as soon as LV begin to dilate, the blood which goes to periphery tries to come back into LV, but not able to come. This blood tries to come into LV, but not able to come as iotic valve closes at aortic wall closes. So this blood not able to come to LV in the beginning of diastole. Now see here, if aortic wall is incompetent, as soon as diastole start, this blood enter into LV. This is aortic regurgitation. This is aortic regurgitation. So abnormal aortic wall fails to close, allowing blood leak backward into LV. Aortic regurgitation when aortic wall is incompetent normally what happen when aortic wall closes blood not able to enter into lv but when aortic wall abnormal it's leaky it's incompetent it's allow blood to come back into lv during diastole this is aortic regurgitation all the signs of aortic regurgitation due to wide pulse pressure is due to wide pulse pressure what is pulse pressure? Pulse pressure is systolic BP minus diastolic BP. Suppose systolic BP is 120, diastolic BP is 80. So pulse pressure is 40 in an older child. If it is more than 60, we called it wide pulse pressure. So all the signs of AR is due to wide pulse pressure. By time you can understand the pulse pressure will be wide only if diastolic BP falls significantly diastolic BP fall. You can understand the concept of BP. What is systolic BP? What is blood pressure? The pressure exerted by column of blood into lateral surface of the arterial wall is blood pressure. Now imagine if LV is contracting, LV is contracting in systole. So column of blood in the periphery, column of blood in the peripheral arterial exerted a pressure which is exerted by column of blood plus forward flow of LV, blood forward force of LV. So systolic BP is 120, systolic BP is 120. Now imagine LV begin to dilate, aortic wall closes. So no forward force is there because LV is dilating. No forward force is there, but column of blood is there in arteriole which produces a pressure which is diastolic BP. No forward force is there. Now what happened in aortic regurgitation? The blood coming back to LV. The blood coming back to LV. So definitely blood stay in the arterial periphery. This amount is decreased because blood coming to LV. So diastolic BP. So diastolic BP is low in AR. So diastolic BP is low in AR. So when diastolic BP is low, diastolic BP is low. If diastolic BP is low, so pulse pressure will be wide. Pulse pressure will be wide. You can imagine if you take a BP, BP is coming 120 by 20. Diastolic BP is 20. Diastolic BP 20. What is the pulse pressure? 100. 100. The BP is 120 by 40. Diastolic BP is 40 only. What is the pulse pressure? 80. So diastolic BP low which in widen the pulse pressure. And all the signs of AR is due to wide pulse pressure wide pulse pressure what are those signs you need to remember these names 
it is only two to three minute job half of them you have remember now this is the final list no need to go here and there no need to read from book these are the final signs in ar what are those you just go through quickly de musset sign quinkey sign corrigan signs trebes sign de george signs hill sign muller sign bejello sign rosenbeck sign gerald sign baker sign shelly sign landolfi sign lighthouse sign nicol sign minor signs you need to remember because we can't afford to lose a single question in pediatrics simple all are the sign of wide pulse pressure except in the choice they have written de musset sign landolfi sign dorgia sign so small sign a small sign is not a sign of aortic regurgitation you got my point so they can ask this type of questions okay all are the sign of aortic regurgitation except d musset sign is what d musset sign indicate so we supposed to know each and every sign one by one it will take only 5 6 minute to us to get oriented with these sign so d musset sign d musset sign is nodding of head if you find a patient of ar his head like like this d musset sign nodding of head quinky sign pulsation in nail bed if you see the nail bed of the patient nail bed of the patient you see pulsation is nail bed pulsatile nail bed is a quinky sign corrigan sign it's a dancing carotid you never forget if you see a one patient neck is there you see the carotid carotid it dancing carotid means rapid distension and collapse in aortic regurgitation lv is volume overloaded when it contract blood goes into more blood goes into carotid so suddenly distended but aortic wall incompetent as soon as lv relax the whole blood comes into lv again so it's collapse so rapid distension and collapse dancing carotid these are the corrigan signs so de musset nodding of head quinkies pulsation in nail, nail bed corrigan dancing carotid rapid distension and collapse of carotid now trebes sign systolic and diastolic sound heard over femoral artery this known as pistol shot like a pistol shot if you palpate the femoral artery you can palpate the femoral artery systolic and diastolic sound heard over femoral artery if you put a auscultate a stethoscope there tuck 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 more sound there pistol shot sound like there trebes sign dorgia sign gradual pressure over femoral artery produce a nice bruit there diastolic and systolic bruit there so dorgia sign bruit is there pistol shot sign is trebes sign so you need to remember d musset nodding of head quinkies pulsation in nail beds pulsation in nail beds okay corrigan signs dancing carotid trebes signs pistol shot femoral dorgia sign bruit over gradual pressure if you apply gradual pressure over femoral artery you hear a nice bruit sound there so hill sign it is the most sensitive sign what happen normally lower limb bp is more than upper limb bp difference is generally less than 20 suppose lower limb bp is 140 by 90 so upper limb bp will be 122 by 80 difference is there but generally less than 20 mm hg why why lower limb bp is more yeah two reason are there one gravity and second descending aorta is a direct continuation of arch of aorta on the upper limb this divided into branches but low descending aorta is the direct continuation of arch of aorta and gravity now see hill sign positive when we called hill sign positive if difference is more than 20 mm hg between lower limb and upper limb if difference is more than 20 it's mild ar difference more than 40 moderate ar difference more than 60 severe ar so hill sign most sensitive sign normally lower limb bp more than upper difference is less than 20 if difference is more it is mild moderate and severe ar mild moderate and severe ar now muller sign pulsation in uvula bojolo sign pulsation in 
नेजल म्यूकोजा एंड बेकर साइन पल्सेशन इन रेटिनल आर्टीरी यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर देविलास मुलर साइन इंडिकेट पल्सेशन इन युवला पल्सेशन नेजल म्यूकोजा पल्सेशन इन रेटिनल आर्टरी पल्सेशन इन स्पिनिक आर्टरी सो यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर मुलर इज पल्सेशन इन युवला मुलर इज स्पेलिंग एम यू पल्सेशन इन युवला इज मुलर पल्सेशन इन युवला इज मुलर बोजेलो साइन पल्सेशन इन नेजल म्यूकोजा बेकर साइन पल्सेशन इन रेटिनल आर्टीरियोल्स नाउ सी रोजन बैक साइन पल्सेशन इन लीवर Gerard sign pulsation in spleen. You need to remember Rosenbach pulsation in liver. Pulsation in liver. Pulsation in liver is Rosenbach. And Gerard sign pulsation in spleen. Shelley sign pulsation in cervix. Pulsation in cervix. So Landolfi sign pulsatile pupil. In systole pupil contract. In diastole pupil. Light out sign, blanching and flushing over forehead is light out sign. So need to remember again and again. Muller sign, pulsation in uvula. Bajelo sign, pulsation in nasal mucosa. Okay. You need Baker sign, pulsation in retinal arteriole. Rosenbeck sign, pulsation in liver. Gerald Beck sign, pulsation in spleen. Shelley sign, pulsation in cervix. Landolfi sign, pulsatile pupil. And light out sign, blanching and flushing over. forehead you need to remember these signs repeatedly repeatedly it will take hardly 5 minutes if you get a opportunity to see a patient of aortic regurgitation in your ward posting you are intern pre pre intern or pre final or final you when you go to ward posting if you find a patient of ar look for all the signs wide pulse pressure first take the bp carefully systolic tuck 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 systolic where the sound with the point where sound start systolic then follow the sound the point at which sound disappear is diastolic tak 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 sometime it disappear at 20 30 so measure diastolic bp carefully to see the wide pulse pressure and then look for the all the signs of aortic regurgitation when you feel the femoral piston short sound you never forget the that feeling or that sound okay dancing carotid pulsation in uvula twinky sign twinky sign hill sign try you may not find all the sign in all the patients but try to look for it then it you will be remember it for long see lincoln sign simple popliteal artery pulsation exaggerated when the patient sit cross leg elevated foot boops up and down with each systolic contraction put up and down with each systolic contraction this is lincoln sign then mine signs decrease in the diastolic blood pressure more than 15 mm hg rising the upper extremity if you raise take the bp in this posture then you raise the upper limb and then take the bp if fall is more than 15 this is mine signs so purpose to stress on these names because if you read from the book it's very difficult to remember this type of things but if you read listen if somebody is speaking repeatedly speaking when you are not in the mood but just open this youtube channel aortic science okay just 5 10 minutes if you listen definitely it will remain in your mind this is the purpose of eponyms class okay to so give you the logic give you the listening of these signs and these name again and again again and again now see these are the aortic regurgitation eponyms i request you if you miss my murmur class eponyms of murmur go to the youtube search dr sanjay khatri an academy see those that class also the astin friend murmur which bear present carico murmur what is its significant gibson murmur the murmur with the name the murmur with the name this aortic regurgitation signs with the name hope you remember all the signs again and again you just remember these signs Debusset, Quinkies, Corrigan, Trebus, De George, Hills, Muller, Bezello. At least you remember the name. Then find out in Rosenbach there is a pulsatile liver. Gerald pulsatile spleen. Baker retinal artery pulsation. Shelley's pulsation in cervix. Landolfi 
pupil alternate contract and dilate. Light out sign, blenching over forehead. Lincoln sign, up and down of foot. Minus signs, if we raise the hand, diastolic BP will fall. So these all, demuset, nodding of head. Quinkies, pulsation in nail bed. Corrigan, dancing carotid. Trebus, piston short sound. Dorgia signs, brui over systolic and diastolic brui if we compress the femoral artery. Hill sign, lower limb BP more than upper limb by 20 mm Hg. Muller sign, pulsatile uvula. Bejello sign, pulsatile nasal mucosa. It's difficult, but it's not as difficult. Okay, so just remember the name of the sign and go for it. What is this sign? This may give you some question and definitely if you get a cardiac case and aortic regurgitation case, if examiner asks, you explain all the signs, definitely you will pass with the flying colors. Okay, so these signs are important with the MCQ point of view and with clinical point of view. Now see, so question can come, all are the signs of aortic regurgitation except question can come, this particular sign denote what? This question may come, okay? So this is about this class. Now something about an academy in my further classes. I am coming on concise batch course. You can find me on this telegram number. You can follow me on clinical MCQ every Thursday. I will take clinical class on MCQs. I have covered cardiology clinical MCQs, nephrology clinical MCQs, neurology clinical MCQ and upcoming hemato endocrino clinical mcq genetics clinical mcq if follow me on an academy educator and click the bell icon an academy pg live and youtube channels i am giving you the orientation of this also if you want to join an academy you can use my code dr sanjay khatri to get additional discount now concise course on pediatrics for need pg 2021 start from 13th july to 31st whole pediatrics will be covered whole pediatrics will be covered total 15 sessions the pediatrics divided into 15 small topic neonatology growth development hematology endocrinology genetics metabolic syndrome git respiratory cardiovascular 15 sessions start from 13th july up to 31st july five session in a day followed by two days break and timing 10 pm to 11 am yes it's 12 midnight so two hour each session i will try to give you nice concept of pediatrics in that you will really enjoy the class i will try to make pediatric interesting for you okay these are the free classes on an academy the past revision basics previous year questions pediatric quiz clinical mcq image based question these sessions taken by every educator according to their schedule if you attend these classes, you feel love with the, this platform, an academy. The way they are teaching, I am talking about every educator, their master in their field. I am taking this clinical MCQs class. Now, YouTube session. These are also free. These sessions are give you the taste of an academy teaching. To give you orientation about an academy. To accommodate your this type of teaching. If once you accommodate with this type of teaching, 5 MCQs in 15 minutes, eponyms class, 5 images in 15 minutes. Go and see 5 images in 15 minutes. Image in pediatrics. In YouTube, you search for my class, you will find wonderful images, wonderful x-rays, some rashes. You can, because these days questions are coming on images. So this give you short 10 minutes, 15 minute session, give you an idea. Then syndromes class. I cover many syndrome in detail in this class what should be our approach what should we need in down syndrome turner syndrome that's why in every subjects these classes are free once you acclimatize then definitely you will subscribe this is the way you can subscribe for one month you can subscribe for three months for six months for 12 months according to your need you are more techno savvy you than me definitely so you can go to the app and subscribe an academy as per your need so keep reading this is the our aim let's crack it let's crack it with an academy if you join an academy don't forget to use my code dr sanjay khatri so hope you like the class thank you